goodies I am here with a small little tutorial not very long on um, buttons it's another for the love of buttons so I am today making my own buttons and these are a couple of the ones I've already made very cute they are popped up on foam dots so they are glittered and sparkled and inked here are some in the tray that I have are letting dry they have the holes poked in them and I will be putting in the thread so real quick how I did it super easy anybody can do it one inch hole punch if, or round punch if you want to make them a different size by all means use a different size punch so I'm gonna punch two of these from my patterned paper and this patterned paper is let me see if I can grab it here real quick it is from the Let's Celebrate paper pad that I got the other day. I think I have a mini haul video showing, look at those panda bears, showing this paper. So this paper did not come with any accessories, no matching ephemera or anything. So I'm making my own. So I punched the two with the patterned paper. That will be the front and the back of my button. And I'm going to use this 110 pound weight cardstock just to give my button some bulk. I do want them to have some substance in it. I'm simply using tacky glue. Nothing too special. I'm going to take my round piece and just glue and layer them together like so. And a little bit more glue for the top piece. So I layered my 310 pound weight um, circles on top of each other. And then I'm putting on a patterned piece on the front and on the back. And I'm just going to give this a quick second to dry. So while I'm giving that a minute to dry, I will show you the inks that I used. So I have inked around the edge of this with the pink ranger, which I think I will do some more pink ones. These that are um, they're dry now, but when I had them in here, they were not. So these are inked with um, Stampin' Up! I wanted something that matched the blue or green in the pattern, and this was really close. So I used that to ink around the edge. So I'm not very fancy. I just got these little round sponges, and I, I just cut them in wedges and used them to ink. It's pretty easy. I do have a fancy dancy Tim Holtz ink tool, but I can never find it when I want it. So there I just inked around the edge. To poke the holes, I'm going to use this. This is called a paper awl before I did um, crafting. Paper crafting, I was into making my own books. I'm using this piece of foam. As you can see, it's very well loved, but that's okay. You'll want some kind of foam or something that you can poke through when you poke your holes. I'm just going to eyeball these because um, I don't think it really matters to me. Now, if you want to measure and whatever, you can, you can do that. I personally don't think it's necessary to measure. So there, I just poked two little holes in my button. And since these are done, I'm going to move them off my 
tray and add the twine in a little bit. I'll show you what I use for the thread. And I'm going to lay that down onto my piece of paper. I just do that in case I want to lift it out of there for some reason. I'm going to use some glossy accents. And my hole is clogged up. So I make these, and I don't know if I made this particular pin, but I use these big stick pins, which I get in swaps and stuff that I have done, or I make my own. And that helps me get the hole freed from anything. And I'm going to make some glossy accents on there if I can get it to come out. It's usually not so difficult. For whatever reason, today it is. There we go. And I'm just going to cover the whole button. I am going to avoid the holes that I just punched. I could punch through it if I get some in there accidentally after it's dried. But I just, for good measure, avoid them. So once I have the glossy accents covered the button, I am going to use this really fine. This one is called fabric glitter, but any kind of fine diamond dust or whatever. I don't know where I got this. I think I got it at Michael's on the clearance bin or something. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a whoosh whoosh with my sparkle stuff. And then I have these little tiny itty bitty um, stars. I think, well, I don't know if it could be like sequence, but they're super tiny. I don't know if my camera is picking that up. But I kind of liked the way that it looked. So I'm just going to sprinkle a few on there like so. And when I'm working with glossy accents, I like to give it a good overnight dry time. So that is all. That's it. Then I got this embroidery thread from, I believe, Joann's or somewhere. And it's just a sparkly kind of gold embroidery thread and that is what I am using to thread through my holes and I just take a big fat blunt needle thread it through and thread it through my holes and tie it in a knot and that's that. So that is how I make my homemade buttons. You guys should give it a try. It's super fun. You can make buttons to match any kind of paper um, kit or paper products that you have that you don't have anything that really matches. That's why I um, thought that making some my, my own embellishments for this paper pad would be really nice. And I think the buttons will look super cute as an embellishments on this paper. So Anyways, thank you for joining me. Remember, ladies, I am doing a giveaway this month. So part of my giveaway is you have to like and comment on my For the Love of Button videos. This is one of those videos, so please leave a like and comment. If you don't know about my giveaway, please go check it out. I have it in my playlist all grouped together, so it's a little bit easier for you ladies to find those videos. So if you want to participate in my giveaway, you have until March 31st. Thank you.